Hi and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. Today we're going to demystify the export settings in Samplitude Pro X. Of course, there was a big change between version 6 and version 7, so I'm going to show 6 and 7. So X1, 2, 6, it was all the same, and then they changed everything. So let's explore both right away. All right, we're gonna start with Samplitude Pro X6. Let's pretend we recorded the song and we want to send the tracks to someone else to be mixed. So what you wanna do is send the raw tracks with no effects so the person will receive the same thing that you recorded so they can start to mix uh, from the top. So what we're gonna do, if you wanna export some files, from Samplitude, you may click on Ctrl and E on your keyboard to open the export options, but there's nothing there to uh, export individually your files. The format and some settings here, those each track in the files are on the horizontal uh, timeline and not tra different tracks. So what you want to do instead is go into File and Advanced Export Track Bouncing. Remove the real-time bouncing. It's going to take time for nothing. Then here choose Ignore Device Routing to be certain that there's no effects applied. And then here you can choose the mark range. There's a range that I selected or Easier, you can choose from the start of the VIP to the last object, so that's a good choice. After that, all audible tracks will still be just one file. Only selectric tracks, same thing. All, um, and of course, if you did not select any tracks, but you choose this, you're gonna get only one file. So if like me, you did not select anything, you you must go into all audible tracks individually. So that's what we're going to do. And then right here, um, choose create new audio file because the other choice is the open a new wave project. It will open many uh, windows in your uh, sample too. So that's not good. Create a new VIP and so on. So what, what you want to do is create files. So that's what you need to choose. And why I did uh, select this first is because if you make some selection and change, it will be resetted. So you need to choose this first and then you click exclude master effects and exclude tracks effects. So this means you're gonna send raw tracks with nothing else. About the format, keep it in wave. The others are all versions of compression, so you will lose quality. It's going to take more space, but that's the way to go. After that, the format depends on the person that you send the files to. Uh, most people will work in 24 bits, but some like me in 96, but some in 48 or 44. Okay, here is just stating uh, the format that you chose. And of course, oh, right here, uh, if you select this, every files will be stereo files. So what I like is to choose automatically. If uh, some files are in mono, they will be recorded in mono and some stereo, they will be in stereo. So it's easier that way. And that's it. The rest, you don't need to change anything. Uh, just click on OK. Select where you want to export. New export. And give it a name if you want. Okay. Hey, it's time to subscribe and click on like if you like the video. So if we check the files, you will see some generated files from Samplitude. 
You don't need to send them only the WAV files. So you may want to uh, filter like this and choose only the, the tracks that you want. And what is nice is that automatically it gives uh, the number of the track and the name that was on the track. All right, let's do the same thing in Simplitude Pro X7. Um, what they did is they incorporated every export function in the same page. So you may want to hit Control and E. And then you get all those options. Choose the folder. I You can choose it later. So once you click on export, it will ask. Uh, existing. What do I do with existing files? It will ask. And this is where it comes interesting. You can choose some of the options, custom text plus the, the date and so on. If you click on edit template, you can choose how the naming will be done. So you can select the project name, let's say, you can uh, start with the project name and then uh, the track name or the track number first, whatever you want, and it will do it for you. So what I like is the track number and then the track name, and then you can save this as a template. So the next time it's going to be easy. So track number and name. Okay, click OK, and it shows how it's going to look like. Uh, and let's go back and change the name. Vocal. Control E, and you see, 001 Vocal. So it's going to be the name of this file that is the first track exported. After that, the routing. Same thing, ignore device routing, and then you want to export all audible tracks and select what kind of uh, range. So it's going to be the complete project or like I said before, from the project start to the last objects. That, that's my best choice. The format, you already know. And of course, don't forget to remove the real time export and exclude master effects and exclude tracks effects don't forget to change this after export what the action will be because it might open a new project or uh, any other things i like to have no actions and of course you can save all this so that's what i'm going to do Next. Uh, let's see, zero, 03, export raw tracks. Okay. All right, then uh, click on export. And then if we checked, we have those two tracks. All right, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications. Go in the description, there's some links to buy some Magix products. They won't cost you more, but there's a little kickback to my channel, so it will help. And of course, uh, put any questions and suggestions for a new video in the comments and share the videos, it's always a great help.